Okay, welcome to lesson 14, uh, module two, angles of a triangle, more on the angles of a triangle. Um, so we are starting here on page 73, um, and we're gonna, there are several examples in this lesson. Um, we're all gonna cut it down to just a couple, um, and then we'll leave the rest up to you to do as practice problems. Um, so, first, before we start, there is a, an image on here that highlights some important features. Um, the first is that in every triangle there are three angles, um, in this case X, Y, and Z. Angle X plus angle Y plus angle Z will always add to 180 degrees. So, all of these will add up to 180. Um, therefore, if you know two of the three, um, you should be able to figure out the third one. The second important thing is that um, all of these, if you extend the lines of a triangle, you do have exterior angles um, next to each of these uh, angles here. And you can actually figure out both of those as well. So any uh, interior with the exterior, that should add to um, 180 as well. So angle Y plus your exterior angle also equals 180. Um, we're going to use these two facts uh, to solve some problems and solve for x here in this lesson. Um, so let's uh, turn to the next page. Page 74. Um, we're just going to do example one on here and because example two is very similar. So that's some extra practice for you if you need it. Um, example one, find the measure of X. Okay, so you have this triangle on here, um, and you have 14 degrees for the measure of angle A, 30 degrees for C, and you don't have anything for B, and X is right here on the exterior of B. Okay, so in order to figure out this angle, you actually need to figure out this angle first, okay? Um, and you can do this angle because you know that there are 180 degrees total in every triangle. So you can do 180 minus um, 30 plus 14. Or you could do 180 minus 30 minus 14. It will give you the same answer. Um, or you could do... 30 plus 14 and then subtract it from 180, um, however you want to roll with that. So um, it ends up being 180 minus 44 and that ends up giving you 136 degrees. So your angle right here is 136 degrees. Once you figure that out, you now can figure out X because we know that um, X and your 136 lie on this straight line here and a straight line equals 180 degrees So what you do now is you do 180 minus your 136 Okay, because 136 is taken up and you should be able to get your answer for X and that would be 44 degrees so X equals 44 degrees here Okay, so two steps um, the first one was to figure out the angle inside the triangle, and you use that then to figure out the angle on the outside of the triangle. Um, example two, if you want extra practice, is much of the same thing. Um, but we, for this lesson, are going to move on to example three and four on the next page. So page 75, you have a similar looking figure, except for... Um, there's different angle measures and your X is in a different location. So you have 121 degrees for angle A, 21 degrees for angle B, nothing on angle C, and X here. Um, in this case, you actually don't need to figure out angle C to figure out X because X um, is already next to an angle we know and it's on a straight line. So if this whole angle is 180 um, and we know that up to here up to this point is 121 to figure out X we just take 180 minus 121 
and we should be able to get our x right from here. So um, you end up with 59 degrees then for x. So x equals 59 degrees. Um, and that one's a little bit easier. The trick is trying to figure out what information you have and what you need to know. Um, and one thing that I try and tell everyone is that even if you found C first, um, and that's extra information, you'd much rather have more information than you need than not enough. Um, so you can quickly see then you'll still end up with 59, you just ended up doing an extra step. Um, the last example we're going to do today is example four for this lesson. Again, a very similar looking problem, except for the angle measures are different than the ones before, and our x uh, once again has moved locations. Um, so this time is the first time we see x actually inside the triangle here at angle C. Um, we know angle B is 45 degrees. We also don't know angle A, but we do know um, the exterior of angle A is 129. So um, because it's inside the triangle, we know that 45 degrees plus our X degrees plus, I'm going to call this question mark right now, plus angle A here, question mark, should equal 180 degrees. Well, that tells us to find X, we need to figure out angle A first. Um, and there's a way to do that because angle A lies on this straight line with 129 degrees. So to find our question mark, we're going to begin by doing 180 minus 129. Okay, and if you, if you do that correctly, you should end up with 51 degrees um, is our question mark. So this is 51 degrees. Now you know two of the three angles. You know 45 degrees, and instead of question mark here, we now have 51 degrees. Um, to, so to find angle X is just like the first one that we did. We take 180 and we subtract 45 degrees, and we also subtract 51 degrees. We can do it all in one shot. Um, or we can add the 45 and 51 and then subtract it from 180, whatever you're most comfortable um, with. So a lot of students like doing this first. 45 plus 51 is 96 degrees, and then they like taking the 180 minus the 96. Um, for whatever reason, it computes a little easier that way. Um, and so if you do this correctly, you should get out 84 degrees. And that's now our answer then for x. x equals 84 degrees. Um, all the problems in this lesson are similar to this. Um, they're just the x is moved around and the degrees are different. It's just a matter of figuring out all the pieces of information um, you need. And again, we use 180 a lot for the measures of the interior angles of a triangle and also for the measure of a straight angle to help us out. Okay, so that's it for our lesson. Our homework assignment for today is in the packet. It is on page, it starts on page 79. Um, so it says problem set here and we're going to go ahead and do numbers 1 through 10. So 79, 80, is the next page in 81 and uh, 81 and 82 sorry so 79 through 82 are the page numbers the problems are numbers 1 through 10 if you need extra help once again um, you'll have to see me when you get back or before school